Welcome back to the transfer deadline day latest here on Toffee TV. We thought we were going to go home at 7 o'clock, but um, we stuck around and, it's, and, it, and it may prove fruitful at, at the moment. It is uh, looking increasingly more like Everton will bring in Josh King from Bournemouth. Um, it looked like 6 o'clock, half 6, like he was going to Fulham and Everton have gone in there late and decided to... Put a bid in, Baz. We don't know what that exact bid is yet. There's rumours it's five, six million pounds. I mean, this is a player that's out of contract in the summer. Mm -hmm. It'll be interesting to see what that comes out with or whether it is undisclosed. Undisclosed is the favourite one, isn't it? I'd be surprised if it was that that much, mm -hmm. but then you'd never know. They're in a position of strength, aren't they? If they've got two clubs bidding for them, but we'll have to wait and see. But... Quite clearly, they were watching our live at five, seeing how upset I was yeah. and frustrated because the other deal didn't happen that I wanted. But yeah. then they thought, let's get past some. Now, listen, it, we, we talked about this in the summer, didn't we? We talked about Josh King mm. coming up to the summer transfer deadline. As that finished, we felt he could do a job in all areas. And then coming to this one, obviously, there was other options. Mm. Um, and Everton have decided late on that. Schenk Tosin deal got confirmed before. Yeah. And obviously Everton have, have decided that it's uh, it's the right time to do it. So the looks as though, looks as though Bit of excitement. You know, that they're gonna bring in a player who can play anywhere across the front. And that's important. And one other one other little bit before we go back to Josh King is obviously Anthony Gordon. Looks very close to moving to Preston for yeah. the rest of the season. On moments I think is a good move for Yeah, because obviously Bernard's staying now. So he'll stay to the he'll stay definitely to the end of the season. Anthony Gordon, good experience. Hopefully he plays every game like Brantwaite is at, at Blackburn and Brantwaite got man of the match at the weekend, has done really well in all three games. Mm. So that he's benefiting that. Hopefully Anthony Gordon will get exactly the same. And um yeah, so it means that, you know, Josh King should get plenty of football at Everton mm. for the remainder of the season, whether it's starting games or coming off the bench. Yeah. Um obviously if that deal gets gets done and yeah and when you look at I suppose I suppose when you look at the outs and you look at the one in it does it does it does make I think everyone feel a little bit more easy doesn't it about about the transfer window getting the play it looks like Mo Bessage might be going as well now to Reading, to Reading um, yeah. which would be fantastic as well because that would be him finished at Everton Football Club Balassi's obviously gone from Everton Football Club Schenk Tosin gone on loan but you hope because it has gone to Besiktas if he does well he'll he'll remain there uh, John Joe's gone up to Celtic so that's again a good move for him um, and hopefully that leads to a, a, a permanent deal out so if we can make those loans permanent we've saved ourselves a hell of a lot of money and mm. obviously we want Bernard to go there'll be a lot more time for him in the summer to leave the club as well with a year left on his deal so uh, um, yeah it it, 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 it it just seems a little bit a little bit more rosy now than it was an hour or so ago. Yeah, it's all things can change. They always do. You know, mm. we saw that in the last deadline day with Robin Olsen mm. coming in. Um, and yeah, it, you know, like I said, Everton have looked like they were going one direction today, and mm. uh, and went the other direction. So fair enough. Um, obviously, there's been comments. Some people. Saying uh, Hugh Thomas saying we have to sign someone now with Gordon moving up loan. AFC Macca says hardly good enough for Bournemouth, but good enough for us. 29 as well. Hope it's not a pricey one. What I'd say, AFC Macca has he played virtually every game for Bournemouth in the Prem. Once to leave in the summer, has had a knock. Quite clearly, whether you agree or you disagree, didn't really fancy playing in the championship, obviously. Mm. And there's only really made substitute appearances and things like that. Where now people won't like that and that's fine, but if he's coming here, we've got to just put our support behind it and go, well, you know, if it happens, let's get behind him. And he's someone better coming off the bench. I mean, Froome Pin uh, not Froome Pin, so if it's who says it clearly better. Uh, Blue Boy she said the board have been watching the under twenty threes <clears throat> and clearly thought no goal scorer. Let's get King. Uh, MP says people complain and we aren't signing anyone. Finally, something happens, then they complain for the same player that people wanted a few months ago. So Carl Wells says gonna be a perfect fit here, better than anyone we have coming off the bench. 
Um, Brad RV Taylor says, hashtag welcome Theo. <laughs> Dandy Don says, do you, do you hope that this move will happen? Um, well, as, as it's two and a half hours to look the transfer window shut, then there's no other options. Mm. Then obviously, obviously we have to hope that it does happen because the club, for whatever reason, have decided that they want him. So yeah. therefore, if they want someone, you hope that the transfer I goes through. You've just got to hope that the deal's a good deal, haven't you? You've got to hope that we're not paying too much for him. Um, and his wages are not extortionate. Because we don't want to be in the same position with this player like we've been with so many other players. Where after 18 months or two years, you're sitting there asking yourself, why Why is this player at the club? or why? And, and listen... At the end of the day, that comes from performances, doesn't it? If the player does it on the pitch, you know, if no the player is doing it on the pitch, you, no one ever mentions how much they were worth. No. No one ever mentions how much they're earning. No one ever says anything about that. Mm. You you just, if a player's got value on the pitch, and he's, he's that's it. No one ever questions what any player is, is earning when they're doing well. No one. In fact, you're trying to get them a new contract. Yeah. You know, people are asking all the time, which Luca Dean's a new contract? Because mm. they worry about him leaving. Because because his value's dropping, so you want him. So no one's asking, oh, why is he why is he earning this money or what whatever? So that's all it comes down to. And yes, t- at the age is a little bit of a concern. Yeah, um, definitely. Make sure you hit that like but button. Three hundred and fifty watching. But the club have got the club have decided clearly. They've obviously gone from a position of we're not getting anyone to at uh, uh, seven o'clock. <laughs> It is a bit of a mad. It's it. It is what it is, isn't it? It's a bit mad. Froom Pinto said he's had injury problems this season. Is this a risk? No, I don't. I think he's played a lot of games over the last years, so I don't think it's a risk. But it's, it's a risk because he's of his age. He turned twenty nine a couple of weeks ago. But I don't know. I mean, player one says not a Carlo signing, in my opinion. But it's certainly not a brand style Doesn't signing. Doesn't feel like a brand signing, does so, it? So who is it? I don't know. I don't know. Um, the game and Toffee says this will be a loan, right? Well, we're waiting for details, aren't we? I mean, some of the people are saying five million. I've seen a loan. Well, it, well he's out of contract in the summer, mm. so I can't see the only way. It w- Leicester only got three million for Damari Gray, who's twenty-four or something. Mm. So the problem is, is that if it was a loan, mm. well, if it was a loan, we'd have. To, the, w- the only way it could be a loan is if, we, if we'd if we have to pay Bournemouth. Still have to pay Bournemouth like five or six million quid or whatever the value. No, we'd have to still pay we'd the value. Pay his contract, wouldn't we? What, what, what would be the other side of it is the player not giving him a contract. But then, but why would a player like him not move to somewhere like Fulham on a two and a half year contract if he if he wasn't getting that at Everton? Well, what the Fulham deal was, I, I don't know what the but apparently what the Fulham deal was was he had a free transfer clause he wanted the free transfer clause if they got, got relegated. relegated so essentially I guess he could play for Everton for five months mm. and have a free transfer himself at the end of the season I don't know but then why would Everton do you know what I mean I don't, I, we'll have to wait and see won't we mm. uh, Froom Pinto says in my opinion the contract should be no more than two or three years yeah I think it'll be two and a half years with an option for a third mm. Um so we'll have to see, obviously. Uh, Michael Ray says, short contract, please. Tom Gibbons says, I can't wait for King to sign. Uh, Blake says, I have a good feeling about this one. She is from San Diego. Uh, and Scintillating Skills says, uh, it, if he can be an effective backup for two or three seasons and provide goals, it'll be well worth it. But it's a big ask. Mm. Um, I don't know. EFC Macher says, oh, fair enough then, Baz, better than no one anyway. Hopefully he gives us some competition to DCL and he can get some form back. Um, Anthony McEvitt says, we need back up for Dom. Let's get some, let's get Josh King blues. I think the thing is, I think that no one, you never, people are never going to be happy, are they? Everybody, I mean, mm. it's, you know, unless you're going by Killian and Mbappe and then someone will complain about that. But it's a tough one, isn't it? I, I don't know where... Like I say, they've they've moved, they've moved course mm. today a little bit, Everton. So yeah. for whatever reason that is, um, I don't know. Glenn Holman says Josh King is too old. Stop panicking and go with what we have. Tom Roberts says King is a better option than anything that we have off the bench. 
Uh, Ace doesn't see evidence signing anyone today. Fair enough. Um, Eugene McGeever says, do you think that Everton signing Josh King from Bournemouth can get it done before 11 o'clock transfer day? It's still two and a half hours. They only have to have the deal sheet in by 11. Everything else can be done over the next, by tomorrow, really, as long as the deal sheet's in place. Mm. Um, so we'll see. We'll see what happens. But it's, I mean, at the moment, it's looking very likely that Everton will, well, looking as though Everton is certainly pushing to get that deal done. Um, AJ knows I can't read that out um, Brian Peterson Hines says hello lads hope you're well yes we are Brian get that like button hit 460 odd of you um, player one says will we ever in for Deli Alley on loan no I think his agent pimped them round he wanted to go to Potts he wanted to go to Potts didn't he once he knew Potts was going there I think he wanted to go there definitely Um Scintillating skills as last few seasons, 6, 12, 8, 16 and 6, 29 now. Yeah, he's played wide a lot for Bournemouth. Hmm. Played through the middle in the two seasons he got into double figures, but he, they've used them wide as well. But I don't know. I don't know. It, it's Everyone will everyone will have their own opinion, won't they? Uh, Andrew Wallace says King is worth 12 million easily. Good at holding the ball up, can also finish. Still got three seasons in him. Hmm. Plus I can see 15 plus goals in him. Plus assists, underrated for me, is a good addition. Okay. But he's out of contract in the summer, so that's obviously why you wouldn't pay that kind of money for him. Um, but he's out of contract, so... X Brownie, one, two, three, says, do you wish we'd have got Josh King or Joshua Zerxy? No, I wasn't interested in Zerxy whatsoever. He's not pretty, he's 19 and he's potential, that's all he is. That's all he is. Um, Jamie Walsh said, if King signs tonight, will be available for Leeds on Wednesday. I think it's 24 hours yeah, before, yeah. hasn't he? So as long as they had the deal completed, then you could tra- you know, train tomorrow. Then I guess may go in. Depends on how fit he is. Uh, may go into the mm. squad for Leeds on Wednesday. Uh, be good if he was on the bench. Um, Ingi says if we would have had King on the bench against Newcastle, at least we would have had options. Mm-hmm. Last of the Corinthians says, uh, Carlo and Everton want experienced players on short-term deals. You can hit the ground running. So far, it's worked and it makes sense. Interesting. Niall Peckham says, King can do a job for a few years. Um, Stephen Wallace says, I thought you guys were going on balls. We are at different times. I think it's on it, isn't it? I don't know. We certainly recorded stuff for it, haven't we? Oscar Harris says, Josh King over Xerxes any day. Mm. Um, player one says what's more important in this window lads getting rid of the deadwood or adding to the squad have we missed an opportunity this window well we've got players out haven't we it looks like Bezits may go out as well now Mm. Uh, so that'd be like five gone out this window and if they got King in and then obviously we've got a loan for Anthony Gordon so six would have gone out the squad and one coming in so certainly the numbers are a lot wanted, shorter. They wanted Bernard gone. And he wants a Bernard. So he'll go in the summer. Yeah, Bernard's gone in the summer. Uh, Paul, Irish football fan TV, says, what's going on, boys? Steve Hello, Kelly Paul. says, if the fee is correct and you, lad, and you lads might laugh, we might as well have kept Balassi for six months. Who's saying that? Steve Kelly. Okay. But, but they didn't feel like Balassi was good enough, did they? Don't know. Andrew Lewis says athleticism and pace is what we need and King brings mm. that. Job McGiven says you reckon King the only one tonight. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah it's hard. I mean in general I think a lot of people I think a lot of people have seen pleased with it. There's mm. obviously some people who've got concerns and right. I don't think there's any issue with that. Um Paul Cape in Melbourne says five million for a Premier proved striker isn't bad. Um, yeah, that's it, isn't it? You know, he's done it, hasn't he? He's done it. Mm-hmm. It's shame he's twenty nine and cup tied. Well, yeah, he's only just twenty nine. He is cup tied. Malcolm Murphy says King picks up the scraps around the six yard box and Christ, can he hit a ball? He go back up. 
Uh, Game and Trophy says potentially a stupid call, but would you have taken a swap deal with Bernard for Josh King? Yeah, but Bernard was never going to the Championship ever, mm. was he? Uh, ben Shaw says, where does this leave Moyes Keen in your opinion? Never coming back. Everton will try to sell Moyes Keen in the summer, no question about it. Um, Lovely setup by uh, Onyongo for uh, Broadhead's second goal in the under 23s. Very good. Tyler doing Running well. with the ball through the midfield. Incredible. That's what we want. Um, Blue Nose Dublin says, uh, does signing King stop us signing another striker in the summer? Um, I, don't, I wouldn't have thought so. I think because I think it depends. I mean, the f it. Yeah, it all it all just depends how it all works out, doesn't it? How the how it works out? Are they paying all the money up front? Are they paying a little bit up front? You know what what his wages are? We don't we don't know the deals. We don't we don't know the deal yet. So when we know the deal, then maybe we can start looking into it a little bit more. Mm -hmm. But um, they've obviously feel like they're getting rid of all the players we've got rid of. That there's a little bit more money there. So. Um, I don't know. It's, yeah. it's... Niall Peckham says we need five players in the summer. Keep her a right back, a midfielder, a winger, and another striker. Even with this deal, mm. no, we do. Oh, absolutely, this doesn't solve. This solves a problem for the rest of the season, and and um, we go forward with that. We'll have to see what happens. Andrew Wallace says the players out are in prep for the summer for Carlo to finish his squad. It's more important than signings, even if it means we fall short. For this half a season, um, Ethan says it, or Eth XN says it. A big positive for me is that King has played in the league before, so there is no need for him to adapt. He can go straight in if needed. Uh, Nick F says, Imagine if it was Costa. But King's a bit more mobile than Costa, isn't he? Mm. That's what you've got to. That's what you've got to think. Um, where are we? Danny Edwards says Broadhead has scored two tonight may get a chance now over his injury he mm. doesn't can't see that at all to be honest Paul Fitzgerald says desperation breeds panic why is everyone getting excited about King he's neither prolific or proven very concerned about this lack of ambition uh, Frankie Thompson says happy that he can play anywhere in the front three uh, Luke Davies said is Leon Bailey coming because great to leave accusing would love Leon Bailey to be coming. Um, Connor Davis says King would be a bargain if we were to get him for that fee. A shame Keane didn't work out. Yeah, I don't, I don't, I yeah, I don't know if that is it. But I've seen this. He's getting touted at eight million as well. I, I think to me, for a player who's only got a contract till June, I'd, I'd be more wanting to pay less than five million for him. I really would. But mm. who knows? Matthew Roscoe says, realistically, we've replaced a few players that weren't good enough to bring off the bench and impact the game with one player who is taking the money off the wage bill and doing so. Mm -hmm. Good way to look at it, isn't it? Last of the Corinthians says, so far all the signings under Carlo have come good, so got faith this will. He's an international as well, by the way. Proven Premier League player. So that's what you've got to, that's what you've got to look at, haven't you? Mm. Um, just got to give him, if he signs, you just got to give him a chance, haven't you? Yeah. I don't know. Paul says 611 online, 125 likes, sort it out. Um, Bailey said, Ped, do you think if we need someone to play in Kunku, deserves a chance more than anyone? No. Why does he deserve a chance more don't than anyone? I don't know, anyone? I was just asking you. No, no, just, no, I don't, don't think so. I think he's played a few decent games off the bench in the cup competitions, but... Yeah, Uncle Al says, only just turning 29, he could get two to three years out of him. Ties us over to the summer to strengthen properly and in accordance with the recruitment plan. Yeah, it does. It does. Uh, Universe GFX says, I feel like Gordon moving to Preston North End on loan will be good for him. Mm, I, do. I agree. I do. I agree. Um, X Brown, he wants two, three, says, You reckon King could be near our starting 11? Example, Hammers in the middle and King in for a Wobie. But he will be, won't he? He'll be fighting for a place. He'll be fighting for a place in the team. You know, that. that's. that's that's the way you got to look at it. You'd be fighting for one of those positions. They'll have come to said, it's there for you. Mm -hmm. You know, there's, they, won't have, they won't have signed them and said, you know, um, 
the 11 is sorted because it's not, is it? And we've seen ourselves that. Um, we, you know, Wobie's picked up injuries. James Rodriguez has picked up injuries. Richarlison has picked up injuries and suspension. Dom's being out the team. You know, don't forget the Wolves game. We started with James Rodriguez and Gilfie Sigerton up front. You know, yeah. these things happen, yeah. don't they? We haven't had players who come off the bench and score goals for us. So we need options. Um, we don't have enough of these kind of squad players, I don't think. See, people go on. I mean, Liverpool have bought a, a lad from Preston today for mm. one and a half million. And their fans are like, sound, excellent, excellent squad player. And yet, like, I look at Liverpool. You look at Liverpool, you've got like Shikiri and mm. Origi, who like you'd look at and go, they're not good enough. But they come into like games like West Ham away and they do all right and, and they win the game and that. Where Everton have got no one like that to come in who are, who are in and out of the team. You know what I mean? Someone who can come into the team but also be a decent sub. We've got no one of that mm. ilk. Do you know what I mean? In a forward area. Shank Tosin, people were fuming. Yeah. You know, going, he's crap, he's this, he's that. Well, is Josh King better than Shank Tosin? We'll have to wait and see. We'll have to wait and see if he signs. And if he signs, see what happens. Uh, obviously. See, and what, what might happen is, you might have a case of like, if he signs, you could have a case of Sati, he could start. So that <laughs> Dom... Maybe he's fresh for Spurs, Spurs or, or Richarlison's fresh or Hamas Rodriguez is fresh. Mm. You know, that's the way you got to look at it. We've got games now, Wednesday, Saturday, Wednesday, mm. Sunday. You know, it's... A it, it... lot of games coming up. A yeah. lot of games coming Make sure you hit that like button as well. Loads of you watching. We've still got half a season left. What's... Ball Street fan of Okay, that's clever. It's on both channels at the same time. Maybe it's... I'm on ball seat. Oh. Oh, brilliant. That shows the, the secret. Um, and are we here? We need a Costa player who will provide the X factor. Okay. Paul Hewitt said Liverpool are miles ahead of us. Past. They are. And they are because they've got the option of bringing on players who might not be the best players in the world, but the good players in the we Premier League. We were never going to buy. Whale beaters in no, this window. Never. Never. Never ever. So. So what can you do? Um there you go. Got there you go. Listen, if it happens, it happens. There's two hours and thirteen minutes till the deadline day window wraps up. Um so there you go. Yeah. That was your update. That's your update. Your update. Anthony Gordon. Possibly off to Preston. Very close it is. Very it? close. And obviously, Reading are after Mo Bezic, whether or not they've got just under, just sorry, just over. And in terms of outs, they've done together. brilliantly. Well, Everton have got this month, Balassi's gone out, Tosin's gone out, Kenny's gone out, and then you've got, you know, possibly Anthony Gordon's gone out, Jared Branthwaite's gone out on loan. Now, Mo Bezic could have gone out on loan, Jonas lacell has gone out. So, you're talking mm. seven, out, and Ellis Sims, eight out of the first team squad, the first mm. team pool. So that's a lot, isn't it? That's a lot. Ethan, God, before we go, well, Ethan's saying he got the first comments on Peyton and I didn't read it out. Oh. I mean, li literally, Matty should have been all over that, but he's too busy fuming that he hasn't gone home to have his tea. I know. You just, you, I understand it, Matty, you, you know, you're struggling. But it is deadline day, and sometimes you've got to power through. Got to put the extra, it's the power that's power protein, through protein to the people. Protein. I mean, I'm loving this, but. No, is he not there? Yeah, he's here. Here we go. If Paul Joyce has got me hopes up for nothing, <laughs> I'll be fuming. Um, Steve Kelly has put, all right, lads, a bit bemused by this, I have to be honest. I get people saying it's a body, mm. but are we not trying to get away from these type of short term signings? To me, it's not the difference making your, like people have been saying. You might be right, Stay. I mean, you might be right. You might be absolutely right. The proof will be in the pudding. Smalls just go for the under-23s. Fair play. That's good. There you go. Play him up front. Play. No one used to have Pez. Quick. Like in the old days. Did you ever play Roberto Carlos up Always front? Exactly. Always off the Exactly. Always. Exactly. Like you, he was the first player you bought. You got him in your Master League and, and you, you threw him up front. high on the left up front. 
See, I used to play John. I signed John Utaka first. Oh, Utaka was another one, another pacey. You had to get John Utaka. He was guy. fast then, mate. mate. I love the Master League. He was very, very quick. Ethan, I've read it out. Um, so, yeah. Phil says, hopefully King will be our world beater. He's the 2020s version of Andy Gray. I mean, that's a bold statement. I mean, that's a massively bold, that's a bold statement. statement. Uh, Akiva says, how's Bezic man at seven years? God knows Akiva. No Akiva, how are you? In the New York, Australian in New York. Diego Crespo says, hi lads, if Everton is looking for the European places, it is necessary to have a goalkeeper that is reliable. Having a goalkeeper that makes so many mistakes will prevent them to go higher. You're absolutely right. Um, yeah, <laughs> maybe Robin Olsen will get his chance. Maybe he will. Maybe he'll get his it. chance on Wednesday. Right, thank you for joining us. And uh, there you yeah. go. Keep a lookout for any videos. Any breaking news. There you go. And off we go. Thank you for Take watching. Take it easy. See you later. Bye.